today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite salad. Welcome to Anderson Lane today. If this is your first time here, please like and subscribe down below. I actually got this recipe from my sister-in-law. It's her mom's recipe. She brought it to a birthday party that we were at one time. So I asked her for the recipe and asked her if it was okay to share with you guys. I have been in love with this salad for the last couple weeks. It's been what I eat for lunch pretty much every day. I'll add some chicken to it if I want to or put it on the side, but the salad by itself is like my favorite thing ever. So let's dive right in. So for the dressing, we're gonna start off with that. You are going to need apple cider vinegar, onion powder or red onion, poppy seeds, dry mustard, extra virgin olive oil, and some sugar. It also will help if you have a blender to blend this in. For this dressing, you're going to add all of your ingredients except for the olive oil and poppy seeds into your blender and lightly pulse until they're all combined. Now it's time to slowly add in our poppy seeds and olive oil. Now the reason that you do this is because if you don't, the poppy seeds and olive oil will separate. When I added my poppy seeds, I don't really measure it out. I just add in a few pulse and then repeat until it looks good. Now it's time to add in our olive oil. If you have a blender with a spout or a tab you can pull up to add things to it, it will make your life a lot easier for this step. I add in about a fourth a cup of oil at a time and then pulse and then repeat until all the oil is incorporated into the dressing. Now this recipe is meant to be made as one big salad, but I like to have it throughout the entire week, so I just put my dressing in a container so I can pull it out and mix it with my salads throughout the week. Now I'm sure there are cuter containers to put it in, but I just put mine in a leftover pasta sauce jar and then I keep it in the fridge. I do heat it up when I need to use it if it's separated and then I shake it up again really good and just drizzle it over my salad. But I'll show you how I mix my salad and the finished product. My favorite things to make this with are these right here. I love these maple glaze pecan pieces with apples and dates. They just add a nice bit of flavor and the goat cheese. Most of the time I just use that with this spring mix and the dressing and that's what I eat. But it is a berry salad so when I make it for everybody I add berry medley and some pears, some fresh cut pears and it is amazing. But for this one I'm just going to show you guys how I make it with just these three things. That is really how I eat it like every day. Now if you have a salad spinner, this will go a lot faster. I don't, so I just use this container that has a lid that I can mix up my salad in. So for my individual salad, I add about two handfuls of this spring mix into this container. And then I'll add about two to three tablespoons of the salad dressing and shake it up. So for a salad this size, I only add about two tablespoons of these mix-ins because they're really sweet and a little goes a long way. Next, it's time to crumble in some goat cheese. I can't do this without two hands, so I'm going to put it in there and then show you guys the finished product. So this is those just right in there. And then I go ahead and throw the lid on, mix it up, and then plate it. And this is the finished salad. You guys, I cannot tell you how much I love this salad. It is so good with that goat cheese in there and those sweet pecan crumbles it is so deliciously amazing thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe down below and as always we'll see you again next time